Now, before you decide to start going out there doing mediumship for everyone, get yourself a group of friends who are interested in this and practice with each other. Just a circle. It's called a mediumship circle and practice tuning into one another because we have lots of life experiences and when we tune in, we get more information back. My first experience of doing mediumship, uh, a medium said to me to tune in to another girl. We were on a workshop again. So I tuned in and I was relaying the information that was coming to mind for me. And it was amazing how she could connect with that information I was giving her. And then she tuned into me and it was very interesting the information she gave. So I'll give you a little bit of insights into what, what was going on. For me, when I tuned into her, I could see a back garden with a pathway down and a, a, a hedge running down the garden. I also seen someone getting knocked down. And I also seen someone in a, a, a leather jacket. Now this lady I was tuning into, her mother had been knocked down by a bus and killed many years ago. Um, the back garden I described was the back garden that she grew up in. And the person with the leather jacket was her son, a teenager who was very interested in motorcycles. Now when she tuned in to me, one of the things that just sticks out in my mind, I don't remember everything else, that she kept mentioning this ring, this ring that was worn for a long time. I used to wear a ring on my finger here, it was my grandfather's ring. And I wore, I remember I wore for 18 years and it was rose gold and it was starting to wear away. So I stopped wearing it, but I wore it for 18 years. It was a signet ring. There was no engraving on it. I just wore it anyway. And she was mentioned this soldier, this ring, and he liked uh, lots of women, and which I don't know about, but he was away at war all the time and he was a sergeant in the army. So that's very interesting that you could mention this ring, which I hadn't been wearing for years, that I wore for years. So it just shows you that anybody can do this. You're just tuning into the energies and then the energies are being interpreted in some way. If we think about it, our mind, information is just energy. It's not writing or anything. It's just our minds interpret things. So we're tuning into the wavelength of someone else just by focusing our attention tuning into their energy and picking up the information and interpreting that in some way with our subconscious mind. So get yourself a mediumship circle together and have fun doing it. And then when you go to do it for someone else, this is the most important thing. Do it with a good intention because this is about helping other people because they need to resolve something. So when you do something with someone, do something with a good intention. And if you're getting the wrong information that you think might be harmful, sometimes it's just better to hold back just for a little while, just in case. 